Okay guys, in order to build this base, you'll want to start out with a 2x2 two two footprint. This is where the rib will sit, so make sure that the water is deep enough. Now sit at the end of your foundation and place the gate as far out as you can. Quick disclaimer, I actually placed the gate the wrong way around in this video. As you can see by the example provided here, make sure the roof slant is facing toward you, otherwise the base won't close. Now you'll want to destroy your original footprint and place a triangle foundation left of the gate. Here you'll want to try align a square foundation with the inside of the gate. Copy my footprint and make sure you can place walls at the pillars of the gate. If this doesn't work, you'll have to realign your foundation and repeat the steps before. Now you'll want to finish the 4x3 footprint. Make sure all your foundations are placed before placing roofs. And this is where your TC is going to go. Also, make sure you upgrade this triangle foundation to metal, otherwise someone could soft side it. I just wanted to mention really quickly, my base is 50% cheaper in wood and 75% cheaper in metal compared to most bases on YouTube. And just a quick disclaimer, that number's based off this base without all of its accessories. From this point the base is fully secure. Now I'm aware that a lot of people use rib bases for farming and on multiple occasions have had them raided. This is why I've added this optional suicide bunker. So if you want to be sure that this base won't get raided and you want a safe space to put sulfur then I would recommend using this optional room. There's space for a large box, a sleeping bag and a small box inside this room. And make sure you place your sleeping bag after you place the drop box. After you place all your deployables, be sure to upgrade the 1x1 one one square to high quality metal. Because I use this as a farm base, I'll keep a furnace inside the base. And after I come back from farming metal, I'll smelt down the high quality metal and put it in the drop box. The 5 rooms I just built are optional loot rooms and I'll demonstrate some loot rooms you can use inside these spaces. The loot room here fits a large box, a small box and a locker. The next room I'll show you is a bedroom and it fits two large boxes and a sleeping bag. Just a quick reminder, everything I do is absolutely optional, so if you wish to do something else then go ahead. This loot room fits two large boxes and two small boxes. And last but least, you can build a cavity in the roof and fill it with large boxes. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe.